Hey, I'm Joe from East Point Sports. Today we're going to assemble your tournament bocce caddy. For our first step, we will be taking the wheel assembly and attaching the leg assembly bead to it. There should be a letter in the middle of each one, an A or B, and that's how you know which is which. So for B, we want to slide it in so that the curve goes up towards the pole and away from the wheel, as you see here. After that, we're going to slide our axle pole onto the wheel assembly, like so. Now we'll take leg assembly A and slide it onto the wheel assembly. And for this one, the curve needs to go in towards the pole also. The feet should be on the same side. Now we can take our last wheel, slide it on top. Now to lock our wheel in place, we're going to take our washer, insert it onto the pole in the center of the wheel, like so. After that, we'll take our spring clip, pinch it to match up the two holes, slide it onto the metal pole in the middle of the wheel. Then we'll take our cap, cover the spring clip, which now will lock it in place. Okay, now we're going to spread the legs of the assembly to either side. Now we're ready to attach the leg base to the leg assembly. To do so, we're going to match the letters up to the corresponding letters on the leg assembly. You also want to make sure that the hexagon countersunk holes face the wheels. Once this is in, we can flip it over and secure it with two bolts, remembering not to over tighten. Now we're ready to take our poles and insert them into the leg base. When doing this, you want to make sure that the two small holes are on the top of the poles. We'll slide them in and align our holes with the ones in the base. Once our poles are aligned with the base, we'll take the number 62 bolt and a nut and insert the nut on the hexagon side, holding our finger over so that it stays secure. Then we will take the bolt and feed it to the other side. This is the circular countersunk hole side. Once that is in, we'll take our screwdriver and tighten. We'll repeat for the bottom hole. Now I'll do the same exact thing to the other side. Once your pulse is secure, we're ready to install our small spacers. To do so, we're just going to slide them over the top of the pulse down to the bottom. They should go on fairly easy. Once that is on, we can install our ball holder. As you see here, the ball holder has a small circle and a large circle. The large circle needs to be on the bottom. So line these up with the poles, the opening facing the legs, and just slide it down. As you can see here, the ball holders are facing away from the wheels. So we slide our large spacer over the pole down to the bottom. Once that is done, we can install the second ball holder. Once that is on, we will add our support braces. Slide your support braces down so that the bottom attaches next to the wheel. Once that is slid down, you can pinch the clips to get it into the fitting. Now we repeat for the next brace. Then we will slide on another ball holder. Then we will take our second pair of large spacers and slide them over the poles. Once those are on, we will slide the last ball holder on. Now we're ready for the polina holder. The polina holder comes in two pieces, so you need to attach the top polina holder to the bottom. To do that, you will use the two clips on the top polina holder, slide them into the notches on the bottom until they click. And just like the ball holders, you have a small hole at the top and a large hole at the bottom. Now that that is set up, and go ahead and slide it on top of the poles. Once that is done, we'll take our small spacers with the holes and attach them to the poles. We will line up the hole on the small spacer with the one on the pole. Once those are on, we will secure them with small screws. Now we will slide on the handle with the logo facing the bocce holders. Now we will take our bolts and our nuts, attach the nut to the back of the holder, Then we'll slide in the bolt, feed it through the pole until it reaches the nut. Once that is on, take a screwdriver and secure it. We will repeat this for the remaining three holes. Now we're ready to store our balls. Then we will finish off with the polino.
Now you can pull your handle up and you're ready to go.